morning, everybody. Welcome to Sunday School. Today we're praising God because he gave us the Bible. Did you know that God gave us the Bible so we would know how to follow him? Aren't you glad you don't have to figure out how to live the way God wants us to all by yourself? Let's worship God today for giving us his word to help us know how to follow him. We're going to listen to the song, Let's Go. Now, what I want you guys to think about is what are things that God does for you? Like he gives us food to eat, he loves us, and he helps us, right? What do you do to thank him? What do you do to thank him? Maybe we pray, we sing to him, right? One thing you can do to thank God is to praise him. Let's do that now. We'll sing praise him.
I, I like that song. All right, now what I want you guys to think about is why can we be thankful for the Bible, right? Why can we be thankful for that? It guides us in our life. It helps us know how to live, right? Now, what are some things that we can learn from the Bible? Think about that with your family. What are some things that we can learn from the Bible? We can learn how to love others. We can learn how God wants us to serve him, right? Now, we're gonna sing a quieter song now and think about inviting God into our hearts and into our lives. It's called, Created Me a Pure Heart. that peaceful song. Let's say a quick prayer together before we move on to our next fun time. All right, hold your hands please with me. Dear God, thank you so much for giving us the Bible. You are so awesome to tell us through the Bible how to follow you. Thank you for loving us so much that you don't leave us to figure things out on our own. Help us to take the time to read your word and obey what it tells us. Help us to follow you all the days of our lives in everything we do. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys. Now, what I want you guys to think about is, what are some things that you could do now that you couldn't do when you were younger? I think about our own kids um, learning to ride your bike without training wheels. Maybe some of you can do that now, right? That's a big thing. How about learning to walk? is a big thing, right? Learning to talk, things you couldn't do when you were younger, but now you can do that, right? How old do you think someone needs to be to follow God? Anybody have an idea? It can be any age, right? Old enough to talk to him, any age works. Now, how do people find out how to follow God? 
How do people find that out? They learn from God and they learn from their parents and they learn from reading the Bible, right? Well, in today's Bible story, we'll learn about a boy named Josiah who was only eight years old when he became king. He may have been young, but he wasn't too young to follow God. Let's find out what he did. Have you ever known something wasn't right and not been sure how to fix it? What did you do? Right? I think about Zach, he asks for help, right? You try to figure it out yourself, right? Now in today's Bible story, Josiah became king and knew he wanted to follow God, but he wasn't really sure what he needed to do. He knew his ancestor, King David, served God, and he wanted to do the same thing. But of all the people in Jerusalem were worshiping idols. Do you guys know what an idol is? It's kind of a different term, right? It's a false god, something man-made that people worship. Now, what I want you guys to do at home, you can pause this, is you can maybe draw a picture, or use your Legos to make a, a, a thing of how you wanna show of an idol that you can think of, okay? Go ahead and pause this and try to build something that looks like an idol that you can think of, okay? Now, with your ideas, what are some idols that people worship today, right? We think about money, we think about movie stars, we think about rock stars, we think about cars, people worship cars even, right? Now, why do you think people worship idols, right? It's kind of what we do in our society. They don't know God, they don't think about God like that, right? They like those people. But how do you think people would know that worshiping idols is wrong? You would need to read the Bible, learn the Bible, right? Jesus is much more important. Now, Josiah, was a young man, but he knew worshiping idols wasn't right. So he had the people destroy the idols. So at home, guys, you can destroy your pictures or your Legos to act like Josiah, right? And now after Josiah had all of the idols destroyed, he commanded men to repair the temple. While a priest was doing repair work, he found God's law, the Bible. When Josiah read what was in it, he promised to always follow God. And the people did the same thing. So we can serve God too, but we need the Bible to tell us how to do it. Okay? Now, before we close today, I want you guys to do a prayer with me. Okay? Our whole family can do it together. All right. Dear God, thank you for giving us the Bible to teach us how we can follow you. Help us read your word and understand it. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. So what I want you guys to remember this week is that Jesus and God are way more important than the people that we think about are famous, um, things like that. He's much, much more important to us and he gives us so much more than idols, okay? And I, this has been a weird time for me to do this for you guys and I hope that you are able to worship and do a sort of Sunday school at home with this ability that we have to tape, okay? So I hope to see you guys all soon um, and have a wonderful week. Bye.